It's been a few weeks since System76's Cosmic Rust desktop has been released. This is the alpha version, specifically alpha one. We're going through what people are saying about the desktop environment, including yours truly being quoted by the System76 team. And I also wanna cover what other Linux distributions you can try this on. Some of you might not know that this alpha version is actually available on many different Linux distributions, and you can give it a shot right now on another distribution besides Pop! OS. So let's get into all that by first starting out with Cosmic Alpha release here what people are saying. Cosmic One Alpha, it's happening. This is not a drill. The alpha version of Cosmic, our new desktop environment for Pop! OS and other Linux distributions has been released and we're all excited to give it a try. If you want to try it out on Pop! OS, you can. There are two versions available to all. You can download the Intel AMD ISO or the NVIDIA ISO. All that means is that if you have an NVIDIA or AMD GPU, you want this version of the installer. Otherwise, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you want this one. This is because the NVIDIA version comes with proprietary software and drivers that make it easier to run the Cosmic Desktop and Pop! OS on your computer if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Either way, they've nicely supplied the two SHA26 checksums right below so you can check the integrity of your file as it gets downloaded. This is something that we see from Pop! OS and System76 all the time, two different variants, which is an absolutely fantastic thing. I I wasn't actually expecting this to be the case with, with the Pop! OS Cosmic desktop. Instead, I figured they would just have one ISO release and then later give us access to the other ISO, forcing us to do it ourselves. But of course, they gave us that ability. Anyways, I've been trying out Cosmic desktop environment for myself for a few weeks now, and it's been a fantastic experience. Yes, I've ran into some small bugs, including things with suspend, a buggy, Bluetooth app, and other things. I went into depth on what the desktop looks like and what features it has in a previous video, which you might want to check out at the end of this video. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out if you're interested in seeing how things work before actually installing it on your computer. Although I would highly suggest at least giving it a shot because at this point, since we're still in the alpha phase, your feedback is very important in this stage to make sure that we have a seamless desktop experience whenever the official release is released. We still have probably a few alphas and a beta before we actually get the official release, but that's not going to stop you from being able to try Cosmic on your favorite distribution. There is instructions available from the System76 team on how to get Cosmic working for many other Linux distributions. Here it says Fedora, NixOS, Arch, OpenSUSE, and many more here. We're going to go through that in a bit, but I want to talk about first impressions. What does the overall community think? Well, we've gotten some information with also a quote from me. So let's check these out. We gave folks around the Linux sphere some time to play with Alpha Cosmic ISO. Feedback so far has been fairly glowing. Check out what others are saying. In the Linux Unplugged podcast. I tried this Cosmic desktop on a very low end system and it still was impressively, impressively fast. The Linux experiment, I'm sure a lot of you all listen to them. The foundation seems very solid and I wouldn't be surprised if in a year or two, this was considered the default desktop that you would recommend to anyone. Quite a bold prediction from the Linux experiment. There's such a cool power user potential here from Michael Tunnell. What I can say about Cosmic even this early is that it's relatively snappy and cohesive compared to other systems I've used from Ars Technica. I can imagine this becoming really popular gaming on Linux. Pharaonic says, I've been playing around with Pop! OS 24.04 Alpha and it's been working quite well. Despite the Alpha tag, everything runs well for daily driver usage on OMG Ubuntu. It's pretty impressive how far they've come in two years working on this. Gardner Bryant, and this one's interesting. They have really focused on re- Finding the user experience, Savvy Nick, yours truly. And I did say that in my previous video. If you want to see what I'm actually talking about, check that video out. And then many other quotes, but I'm just going to go through some of the ones that we probably know as a community. It's a very good desktop. I love the functionality. It looks great, but of course, there's going to be some bugs. Learn Linux TV. Now I'm more excited than ever. Brody Robertson, after some Cosmic Q&A, he also had some helpful feedback for us. And then we get into further system design, applet and applet templates, and there has been community contributions as well. Thanks to our contributors for helping Cosmic reach full potential. Coronier added a feature using super right click drag to resize windows. Leb Kutchen added a feature for double clicking title bars to maximize a window for server side decorations. Additionally, they fixed a bug where to minimize and maximize buttons where certain applications were respecting Cosmic users preferences on which buttons would be shown. There has been a lot of community development, especially in the applet side of things where multiple applets have been added to Cosmic Desktop, all seemingly from community development. And we're excited to see that the community is responding so well and wants to actually contribute to this project. It just goes to show you how well this project is doing. Otherwise, we know people would not be 
contributing so openly. Cosmic ambassadors are amazing people who contribute to Cosmic or promote it on social media. They also get free swag. You too can become an ambassador by filling out this short form. A lot has been developed over the past years, but there's still quite a bit left to be done. Here are some areas where you can assist. So they're looking for help in the system and accounts users window, users applet, the region and language, desktop window management, network and wireless, Bluetooth, power and battery, OS update and recovery, finally default applications. And that's it on the overall sediment from the community. At this point, trying the alpha, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But let's move on to looking at what other distributions Cosmic is available for. The new desktop environment, here it is looking great with a beautiful Cosmic wallpaper available. But what we're interested in is to try it out on your favorite distro. Here are the distributions it's available on. We have Fedora, NixOS, Arch, OpenSUSE coming soon, Serpent OS, Redox OS, and Catchy OS. You can open up any of these. Some of the official ones I know of are Fedora and NixOS, as I've been following that for quite a while. If you hit see instructions, you'll get access to an installation document on how to actually go ahead and try it on your distribution of choice. Now, this is all ports from contributors that are moving the cosmic applets and packages for the desktop over to the specific distribution. So that means there might be some builds that are out of date, but they're going to catch up to so be a little patient if not everything is available or it doesn't work. Another good one is NixOS. If you want to try it out on here, there is quite a bit already ported and developed here, but we know a lot of you use Arch by the way. So check out the instructions for Arch as well because Cosmic is available on here as well. Now I don't know what the current state of this port is, but it doesn't seem hard to try. So maybe I'll give this a shot fairly soon as the last update wasn't that long ago. It'd be interesting to see how far they've made it over here on Arch Linux. Anyways, I just want to give a huge shout out to the System76 team for bringing us a very great experience using Cosmic for us desktop and especially for an alpha build. I'm looking forward to future releases and development. It looks like the overall community is also very happy with the Cosmic desktop. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you given it a shot? Are you going to try to give it a shot? I'm going to leave you with a few moments of how the theming support works just because I wanted to show this off and it's probably important to a lot of you users. As you can tell here, you can choose between light and dark modes. You can also toggle on whether or not you want to automatically switch depending on the time of day. And you have this selection where you can select accents now, and that will allow you to change your colors up for the whole entire system. A great feature to have. Also, catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.